But here's a look back then at the first race of the weekend. Jochen Hahn and Norbert Kish starting on the front row together. And as the sun beat down on the circuit, everybody was looking forward to getting things underway. Not conditions that we would normally see here at Zolder at this late in the season especially. But it was line astern on the first lap, despite a lot of jostling and movement in the middle of the field. Miraculously, everybody stayed in the same order for the first lap. But then the battles begun. Then things started changing. Drivers were really throwing elbows out and certainly getting scrapping with one another. But unfortunately, Norbert Kish had a problem. The turbocharger started to let go halfway around the lap. He tried to continue for another lap and then it dramatically expired on the start finish straight. But quick thinking from Norby meant that the race wasn't heavily affected. There was just a yellow flag down at turn one while he removed the truck from the circuit and got it back to the paddock as quickly as possible. As you see though, the turbocharger certainly not a happy bunny. The happy bunny at the front though was Jochen Hahn as he moved off in front of Sasha Lenz. Jamie Anderson went off after there was an air pipe issue which caused problems with the truck. He would come into the pits and then have to get that repaired before trying to still remain classified in the race. Andre Kurzim and Stefan Fass had a great battle all the way through the race, eventually just staying where they were in sixth and seventh, but it was certainly intriguing to see how close they got together. But Jochen Hahn led from the front, tried to maintain the gap from Sasha Lenz and eventually would hold on long enough to take the race victory from Sasha Lenz and Jose Eduardo Rodriguez. 